Tabernacle Worldwide Ministries. God bless you and welcome. I'm going to read from Psalms 93. The Lord reigneth, he is clothed with majesty. The Lord is clothed with strength. Well, with the head guarded himself, the world established, that it cannot be moved. Thy throne is established of old. Thou art from everlasting. The floods have lifted up, O Lord. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their waves. The Lord on high is mightier than the noise of many waters. Yea, thy mighty waves of the sea. Thy testimonies are very sure. Holiness become thine house, O Lord. Amen. 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 Beloved, let's stand up and begin to thank God because he's so good. He's so wonderful. He's everlasting to everlasting. Let's thank God. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We give you praise. Thank you, our Father. Thank you, our God. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, mighty God. We bless your name. We worship you this morning. Thank you, God, because we are not where our enemies want us to be. Thank you because you have given us life today. You have given us health and strength. We are so grateful you are our God, you are our Father. King of kings, we are grateful. Thank you for allowing us to see this day. Thank you for allowing us, our Father, to be here in your presence to worship you. We have come to worship you, Lord. We are grateful and we say thank you. Thank you for who you are. Thank you because you are great and greatly to be praised. Thank you because you are worthy of all our praise. Thank you, everlasting God. We worship you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory. Blessed be, your, blessed be your holy name forever and ever. We appreciate your goodness towards us. We appreciate your love. We appreciate all that you are, all that you do for us. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, King of Kings. We worship you. We give you praise. Blessed be your holy name forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Beloved, I'd like us to come before God with a heart of repentance. The Bible says, if we say we have no sin, we make him a liar. Furthermore, the Bible says, if we, right, our righteousness is like filthy rags. So I want us to come before him with a heart of repentance. Let's ask him to forgive us. Cleanse us afresh with the blood of Jesus as we come before him this morning. Let's get on our knees and, and ask him to forgive us. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, our Father, our God, we just want to thank you for who you are. Lord, forgive us for our sins. Thank you because you are righteous. As we come before you, Lord Almighty God, we just want to ask you to cleanse us. Cleanse away all our sins. Wash us afresh with the blood of Jesus. Cleanse us afresh, Lord, with the blood of Jesus. Take away any conscious and unconscious sin out of our lives. Take away all our inherited sins. Take away any sin of rebellion, any sin of, of stubbornness. Almighty God, we come before you. We repent of all of them, Lord. We repent of all our sins. Thank you, mighty God, for the cleansing power in the blood of Jesus. Thank you for the precious blood of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting God. We honor you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory. Blessed be your holy name forever and ever. Thank you, everlasting God. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you for the precious blood of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Beloved, I'd like us to take authority over any strange power, all territorial powers of darkness in this neighborhood. I want us to take authority over them in the name of Jesus. Let's take authority over them in the name of Jesus. Bind them in the name of Jesus. Almighty God, we come before you. Come against all powers of darkness. All wicked powers of the night that met here before we came. We bind them and dismantle all their wickedness. We, we break their, we dismantle their programs in the name of Jesus. We invite your presence, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We take authority over all strange powers of the night, all territorial powers, underneath the air, up in the air, in the, in the night, under the sea, in the name of Jesus. We gather their wickedness and we dismantle them by the power in the blood of Jesus. We break their programs in the name of Jesus. We dismantle their wickedness in the name of Jesus. All powers of darkness that are here, we come against you with the blood of Jesus. We dismantle your programs. We scatter your programs. We cancel your programs in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting God. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Lord of Lords. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Beloved, I like us to invite the Holy Spirit of God to come and take control over every situation, over our service, over our entire program in the name of Jesus. Let's open our mouth and invite the Holy Spirit of God. Holy Spirit of God, we invite you afresh. Holy Spirit of God, come and take your place. Holy Spirit of God, we need you. Come and take your place in our program. Come and minister to us. We commit ourselves to your great and mighty hands. We commit ourselves to your great and mighty hands. In the name of Jesus. Everlasting God, we need you. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Come and take control over our speaker, over our choir, over all our, our programs. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting God. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, everlasting God. We honor you. We give you praise. We give you glory. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Beloved, I like, us, I like us to plead the precious blood of Jesus over our environment. Let's plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the precious blood of Jesus over this environment. In the name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the precious blood of Jesus. We plead the precious blood of Jesus over this and that place. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting God. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We bless your name. We give you praise. We give you glory. Blessed be your holy name. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Lord of Lords. We, we are grateful. You are our God. You are our Father. We bless your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. We're going to pray like this. Oh, God, my Father. Bless me abundantly today in the name of Jesus. Oh God, my Father, as I have come before you, as we have come before you, we are here, Lord, for you. Bless us today. Bless us abundantly today. Bless us today. We'll not go back the same way we came, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Bless, bless, bless us in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless us today. Bless everyone in this place. Minister to everyone today in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, everlasting God. We bless you. We honor you. We give you praise. We give you glory. Blessed that be your holy name forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I'd like us to turn to your neighbor and say, God will bless you in this new month in the name of Jesus. Turn to your neighbor and say, God will bless you abundantly in this new month in the name of Jesus. God will bless you, my neighbors. God will bless you abundantly today in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We're going to pray like this. Any arrow, any arrow, fire against me in the night. Fire against my family in the night. Back fire in the name of Jesus. Back fire, back fire, back fire, back fire. Any hour of the night, fire against me and my family. Back fire, back fire, back fire in the name of Jesus. Any hour of fire against our service. Back fire, back fire, back fire in the name of Jesus. Back fire, back fire, back fire in the name of Jesus. Back fire in the name of Jesus. Back fire, back fire, back fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus. Mighty name we pray. Amen. We're going to pray like this. Oh God, my Father, I thank you because I'm not where my enemies want me to be. Oh God, my Father, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, my Father, because I'm not where my enemies want me to be. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, because I'm not where my enemies want me to be. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, thank you for not allowing me to put, to put me where they want me. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Oh God, my Father, move me from labor to favor. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, my Father, move me from labor to favor. Oh God, my Father, move me from labor to favor in the name of Jesus. Oh God, my Father, move me from labor to favor in the name of Jesus. Oh God, my Father, move me from favor to favor in the name of Jesus. Oh God, my Father, move me to from favor to my movements. So let's pick up uh, Hebrew 4, 16. It says, let us therefore come boldly to the, to the throne of God, to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Okay, Hebrew 4, 16. So, let's speak at this prayer. So, um, oh, Father, it's not by might. It's not by my power. It's not by my spirit. Says the Lord, let the mercy of God, let the grace of God, let the favor of God, let the protection of God, 
remove every mountain against my life, against these services, O Lord. Let the God of mercy of God fight our battles and deliver us up in the name of Jesus. Let the mercy of God, let the grace of God, let the favor of God, let the protection of God, let the mercy of God fight against our lives, cast for our battles, fight our mountains in the name of Jesus. As from today, it's not by my might, it's not by my power. I shall no more fight. Let the mercy of God fight for me. Let the mercy of God fight for me. Let the mercy of God deliver me. As from today, I shall no more battle. Let the grace of God battle for me. Let the grace of God battle for me. Let let the protection of God battle for me. Thou son of David, have mercy upon my life. Father, have mercy upon our life. Father, from our ministry, our calling. Father, have mercy. Let the protection of God have mercy for us. Let the protection of God battle for us. Let the protection of God fight against every mountain. That son of David, have mercy. Have mercy upon our lives, upon our ministry, upon our calling, upon our life. Upon our destiny, upon our life, oh Lord, change my life and take me from glory to glory, from glory to greater glory. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, change me from my life from minimum to maximum. In the name of Jesus, every evil object programmed against my body against my blood against my soul against my spirit be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus let me destroy by fire in the name of Jesus let me destroy by fire in the name of Jesus so oh God my father as from today it's not by my might it's not by only my prayers it's not only by my fasting it's only not through my energy I know for you you shall fight for me. Let the mercy of God fight for me. Let the grace of God fight for me. Let the protection of God fight for me. Let the power of God fight for me. It's not by my might. It's not by my power. It's not by my spirit. Says the Lord, let the mercy of God, let the grace of God, let the favor of God, protection of God fight for me against every mountain every mountain every battle let the mercy of God shall deliver me or mercy of God shall answer all our prayers mercy mercy of God shall deliver us in these services let the mercy of God fight for us take the lead in this uh, service this morning Let let the mercy of God let the grace of God let the favor of God lead us to these services let the mercy of God take over all our prayers let the mercy of God answer our prayers in the name of Jesus as from today it's not by my might it's not by my power says my spirit I shall no more fight I shall no more fight I shall no more battle I shall no more battle let the mercy of God fight for me let the mercy of God battle for us In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Jesus, let the mercy of God fight for us, O God. In the name of Jesus, let the mercy of God fight for us today and forever in the name of Jesus. Let the mercy of God fight for Jupiter families and friends today, tomorrow, the remaining days of our life on planet earth in the name of Jesus. Father, we glorify your name. We exalt you, Papa. This is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. You have done it again for us to see another day in the month of August. As our daddy in the Lord says, it's the month of answers prayer. Father, we believe and we trust in that word. We activate our spirits to that word. 
that all our prayers may be answered by your blood, by your grace, and by your mercy, O oh God. We depend on you, Jesus. We rely on you this day, O oh God. Father, you take over. It's all about you and none of us, O oh God. I shut myself down. I take away flesh. I take away carnality. I surrender my life, my being. It's all about you. Use me for your glory. I cannot do it on my own. I cannot do it on my own. It's all by your grace, oh God. It's all by your mercy, oh God. We thank you, Jesus. We give you all the praise. Thank you, everlasting Father, for what you have done and all you have done for us. In Jesus' name, we thank the Lord. Shout hallelujah. Can you go ahead and greet somebody and say, God bless you. Happy new month. God bless you, my brothers. God bless you, my sisters. Happy new month. In this month of answers prayer, God will answer all our prayers in the name of Jesus. We give God the praise. We give God the glory of God. He deserves more than we can ask. Good morning, everybody. You are blessed and highly favored. You are wonderful. You are beautiful. You are glorious in the house of God. What a mighty God we serve. What an awesome God. We love you. We love you, my brothers and my sisters, for coming today. It's a privilege. It's an honor to be alive in the land of the living. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your hand and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We give you all the praise for all you will do. In Jesus' name, we thank the Lord. Kingdom 
suffering for our sins. We praise you, Lord. We give you praise. You are majesty, oh God. You are the King of kings. We bow before you to say, oh God. We say we give you all. You are, you are everything, oh God. Jesus,
worship to worship the King of Kings. He deserves the glory of God. My God, you are so good. You are so kind. You are awesome in my life, in my family, in Champions and Ministry as a whole. I give you all the praise. I honor you, O God. You are majesty, God. I bow before you, God. Thank you, Jesus. I glorify you. I say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are more than sufficient. You are more than enough for us, O God. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory, O God. Jesus 
name, we worship the King of Kings. Amen. In Jesus' name, we worship the King of Kings. Amen. Are you happy to be in the house of the Lord? Clap your hands for your people. Clap your hands for your people. Make noise unto the Lord. He deserves the praise. Acknowledge Him for who He is. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I worship you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
the first and the last stanzas, one and three.
say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. For loving me unconditionally. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. For loving me unconditionally. Just open your mouth and thank God. Father, I thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for loving me unconditionally. I am so grateful, Lord Jesus. I am thankful. I am grateful to you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, glorious God. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy. You are worthy. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory, honor, adoration to your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for loving me unconditionally. Thank you, Jesus. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy of my praise. Glory be to Jesus, your name. Thank you, In Father. the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Our hallelujah is too weak. A glorious happy new month. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Let's clap for Jesus. Amen. Amen. It is testimony time. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you and we give you all the praise. Lord, we give you all the adoration. Thank you for all those testimonies which you have done for us. We bless your name and we honor your name. Be thou glorified, be thou exalted. We we'll cover all our testimonies with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. So we can come up and share our testimonies. Testifier number one. Shouts hallelujah. Shouts a glorious hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Redwin, I'm here this morning to thank the Lord for his goodness, his mercy. I can't even know, I don't even know where to start, but I just want to say thank you. I always thank God. Even from right, I would say, God, I thank you. From the moment you planted me in my mother's womb. till so I stayed in that womb for nine months. And up to today, you have been proving to me that you are such a loving father. And I'm so grateful to this God. Hallelujah. And thank you, God, for adding another year to my head. On Monday... The Lord added another year to my head. Glory be to God. And the Lord did something wonderful in my life. It's so, this God is so marvelous. He says, strangers will build our walls. Isaiah 60 verse 10. The word of God stands sure. And God is still watching over his word to perform it. I'm thanking God because briefly God did something in my life. The very week of my birthday, um, okay, this is how it happens. I, 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 like to, I, I love to buy, 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 buy. So I said, okay, now I want to do something to just discipline myself a little bit. Then I'm th I was thinking of something that would commit me to limit, I mean, just to discipline myself. So I told somebody, I, I, I hope everybody know what they call Otsusu. In case you don't know, is when a group of people like 10 or more than 10 come together and they, they, they contribute money and one person will, will pick the money. They go like that until it's everybody's turn. So that was, I, I not talk to somebody, I'm like, oh, I want to just, I want something to commit me something that will commit me. So, then my sister said, okay, in my place of work, we're about to start something like that. 
and we are going, we are 10. So we started a couple of months ago. And it's, it's always every two weeks. After, I mean, the week, once you collect your paycheck, you, you put your own. The, the, the person's turn to carry it will take it. So, but this is what they did before we started. They will, they will, they will write the numbers and they will wrap it and you will pick. The number you pick is going to be the time you take your own. So, but when we started, they are like, all the people that pick number one, two, three, they are like, oh, they don't want to, they don't want to take the money early. They want it later. Which my own is like number nine. We are ten. So, but I said, no, I said, I don't need this now, too, that I'm just trying to save. But later, something I, I needed, a need, I got, there was a need that just came, and I told them, I'm like, okay, now, is anybody willing to give me his, his turn? So when it's my turn, I give it to that person. So the hacks, 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 but like, two weeks to my birthday, somebody said, okay, the next week, it's my turn that the person is going to give me a whole turn. So, which they gave me the turn. I, I got the money and I was able to use it. But something happened. As my brother approaches, I was telling pastor, I said, that's something I always do. On my birthday, I used to sow to the Lord, thanking God for all that the Lord has done for me. But this very year, I told pastor, I said, I want to do something big. I, don't want to, I just don't want to give any kind of offering to God. I want to do something big, that, something that I don't even have. That's how I want it to be for this year. So I said, okay, I'm believing God. So when I get that money, even though it, it, it was meant for something, but I'm like, okay. But the testimony came on the week of my birthday. Let's say... Um, like Thursday, Monday is my birthday, and the Thursday of the week, the person that gave me the money said she went to church, and God spoke to her not to collect the money from me. This person, I've never met with her. I've never spoken with her. She's a total stranger. I've never even spoken with her at all. And this is just thousands of dollars. When I mean thousands of dollars, it's not small money. She said, God told her that use that money as a seed. Don't take it from my daughter. I'm like, somebody I've not met. So when the person that introduced me to that place called me, I'm like, I don't understand. Then she now went back to the, to the woman and said, what did you just say? She recorded her. So she sent a voice note to me that this is it. See, she doesn't understand either. And I just started thanking God. Thousands of dollars. Somebody that I've not met before. I've not spoken with her before. And I'm just like, God, you are just awesome. You have shown yourself. I say, God, no matter how we know you, you always prove yourself that we have not known you. That we have not seen you. Isn't God wonderful? wonderful. I am thanking God Thank you, Jesus. because He's an awesome God. Yes. Because He's a great provider. Yes, he is. Because He's God that always proves Himself. Yes, he, he will always appear and say, Thank Daughter, you, Son, yes. I am with you. Yes. Shout hallelujah. Shout and know the hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. To fail me. You are too committed to leave me halfway. What you start, you always finish. And I've come to realize you are too faithful to fail me. You are too faithful to fail me. You are too faithful to disappoint me. You proving yourself in a life. I have come to realize you are too faithful to fail me. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
everybody shout a power. I want us to stand up because we have to acknowledge what God has done Amen. in the life of our mommy. And I tap into that testimony. In the name of Jesus. I want us to Jesus. shout a powerful, hallelujah, a powerful seven hallelujah as you're shouting your seven hallelujah. See that blessing that came upon her. That blessing is going to come down upon you and I. One, two, go. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. He's a faithful God. He's wonderful. Is 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 all my goodness. I am blessed by that testimony. I tap into it. You see, Daddy always tell us. You see, all the work, work, work. It's not the work oh, that's it's going to table. feed us. It's, it's God's grace and mercy. Yes. He always said that somebody will come from nowhere and come handing their money to you. Amen. And that's what happened, no. And I receive my own. And I will Jesus. come and testify of my own billion. Here Amen. Mommy, God bless you. God we say bless you. happy birthday. We wish you all the best. Amen. God will continue to, to enlarge your coast. He will, he, will, he will give you more glorious birthday. More surprises is coming your way. Good surprises is coming your way. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Beloved, we're going to pray. Okay. Come on. Hallelujah. Any more? Oh, come on, sir. Good. Okay. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I am standing here to thank God for everybody. On behalf of the choir, we just want to say thank you, mommy for being a blessing to JPT ministry worldwide. Amen. Lord, we thank God for our mama in the Amen. Lord because he is the, you know, the, the help to our father. He is the support to our father. He is everything to our father. We thank God for their lives, Amen. for the initiative to empower us Amen. to stand on the podium to minister, to glorify his name. Because he alone deserves the praise. Amen. He deserves the glory. Our mommy liked the song. He always liked to sing the song. Beyond, I am the Lord. The God of all flesh. Is there anything? Is there anything to add for is there anything, is there anything, anything, anything to avoid? Hey, is there anything, hey, is there anything to avoid? Shepity Choir, we present this loving card to our wonderful mother, our wonderful mama. May God bless you as you started surprising. May the good Lord surprise you in every department of your life. So we are the children who will yield the blessings of this ministry. Mama, we love you. God bless you, ma. More anointing more grace upon your life more fire god bless you man in jesus name amen thank you jesus congratulations mommy caroline imedion you are indeed a, a virtuous woman a woman that i really I, uh, I look up to and admire a lot. I pray that the Lord will give me your kind of anointing to be a great wife when I get married in Jesus' name. 
Brethren, I want us to stand up and pray. Kindly open to open to Jeremiah. Jeremiah 51. We will read verse 58. I read. I'm reading from um, New Living Translation. This is what the Lord of Heaven's army says. The thick walls of Babylon will be level to the ground. Brethren, what is that wall that is standing against that, your blessings? Remember, it's, this is our month of answered prayer. God has answered the prayer. But what is the wall that is standing there for the manifestation to happen? The Lord said that if that wall, that thick wall will be level. So I want us to stand up and shout the prayer. Say, every thick wall standing against my blessings be level to the ground in the name of Jesus. Be level to the ground in the name of Jesus. Every thick wall standing against my testimony. Every thick wall standing against my promotion. Be level to the ground. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Lastly, the scripture also says, and her massive gates will be burned. The massive gate will be burned. So every massive gate standing against my blessings, standing against my blessings, born to ashes to in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, born in the name of Jesus, born to ashes, massive gate in the massive waters, gate in my life. massive gate yes. in my father's born house, massive gate in, in my mother's house, massive gate in yes. the second heaven. Ashes. Against my progress, burn to ashes. ashes. Let's declare it very loud. Burn to ashes in the name of Jesus. Burn, 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 burn in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Open your mouth and declare that prayer. If you love yourself and you hate the battle of the enemy, shout that prayer very loud. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. God of Elijah, send down fire. God of Elijah, send down fire. God of Elijah, send down fire. God of Elijah, send on 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 fire. God of Elijah. I 
against me. Any evil arrow fashion against my family. Any evil arrow fashion against my testimony. Back to sender. Back to sender. Back to sender. In the name of Jesus. Oh, put your mouth and send it back. 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 Lord, aha. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Aha. In Jesus' name we pray. I don't like the way you are praying. No. The enemy will not send evil arrows against you in Jesus' name. I said the enemy will not send evil arrows against us in Jesus' name. They sent one evil arrow to me. I and my family. It didn't prosper. My wife went to the basement. One of the bags I used to travel recently. Fresh bag. I'm the one that emptied the bag. Everything sound. She brought the bag to me. And a raw egg was inside the bag. I know it's not our children. Because we, they don't do stuff like that. The egg was cooked. And they put it the place I remove all the things I travel with. They put the egg there. And we prayed some prayers this morning and we broke it. Send it back to sender. Are you ready to pray? The enemy can astrally project something to you. In your house. So I'm praying here. Some people are still sleeping. Some people are standing. They don't understand. Any evil arrow. Fire to destroy me this year. Any evil arrow. Fire to destroy me this year. Backfire. Open your mother pray. In the name of Jesus. Send it back. 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 In the name of Jesus. And the evil arrow. Fire to destroy my children this year. Fire to destroy my wife this year. Fire to destroy me this year. Back to sender. Back to sender. Back to sender. Back to sender. In the name of Jesus. Aha. Louder, louder, louder. Aha. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. With the power of your imagination, stretch your hands to your house. Say, any deposit of darkness program into my house. Come out! Locate your owner. Destroy your owner. Any program of darkness Fired into my house by any witch, any wizard. Come out, locate your owner, destroy your owner, locate your owner, destroy your owner, locate your owner, destroy your owner. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Aha, aha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. What is a cooked egg doing in a fresh new bag they used to travel? I don't carry food in the back. Are you ready to pray now? Ah, point your hand to the heavens. Say any statement of darkness. Issued on the head of any sacrifice. I beg you to pray. There were 120 days prayer you are about to start. It's a revelated prayer. They are all revelated prayers. They are all prayers permitted by the Holy Ghost. And there are so many visions and revelations consigning open heaven to people's foundations. I want you to stretch your hands to the heavens. The enemy is angry. But the children of God are triumphant. We are champions. Say any statement of darkness on the head of any sacrifice against my head. 
against my wife's head, against my children's head, against our heads, against my blood, blood of my family, wherever you are, back to sender, back to sender, back to sender. Open your mouth and declare it. Send it back. 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 Send it back to sender. In the name of Jesus. Send it back to sender. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, let the strong witch. Let the strong wizard monitoring me with sacrifice. Perish in the name of Jesus. Let your perish be loud by the power in the name of Jesus. Aha! Louder! 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 Let the strong witch, let the strong wizard monitoring anyone here with evil sacrifice. Perish now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say any evil strong man or woman that has bought a coffin for me already with my name on it. Any strong man or woman that has bought a coffee for me already with my name on it, I reverse it now. I take out my name. I take out my family's names. I put their own name. I bury your coffee. I bury your coffee. I bury your coffee. In the name of Jesus. Somebody need to pray that prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. If you joined the singles yesterday, be thanking God for your life. Ah, be thanking God for your life. You are going to pray like this. For those who were not able to join. Ah, are you ready now? Say any wicked personality that has dragged me to the back. I saw many of you in a, in a vision. I want you to pray. Any wicked personality that has dragged me to the back, you are a liar. You are a liar. I move forward. I move forward. I move forward. Perish in the name of Jesus. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Louder. Don't take God for granted. You don't know when God will appear. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 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 Perish. Perish, we move forward. Perish, we move forward. In the name of Jesus. Aha. In Jesus' name we pray. We are going to pray this one again for somebody. Say, any faulty foundation. Any foundation with dust and sand that my destiny is standing upon, that my marriage is standing upon, that my finances is standing upon, that my glory is standing upon. Mercy of God, deliver me now! Deliver me now! Mercy of God, deliver us now! In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Make sure you are praying. Thank you, Jesus. Those prayers are revelations. Please pray, pray. I don't have time to tell you things here. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Aha. Uh -huh. I, I, was, I'm, I, can, I want to point hand to somebody, but I'm holding back. So you are going to point your hand to yourself. Are you ready now? Say any power that say I will miss my breakthrough this year. 
any wicked power that say I will miss my testimony this year. You are a liar. You are a liar. Carry your evil load. Carry your evil load. Carry your evil load. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it. By the power of the name of Jesus. By the power of the name of Jesus. By the power of the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Everyone here has a bucket. With new resources. Fresh mineral. Entering that bucket. You are going to pray. Say. Thou spiritual bucket. In my hand. Be full with my testimonies. Are you ready now? Thou spiritual bucket. Thou spiritual container. In my hand. I saw all of you with that container. I want you to pray so that you will not be at the back. Thou spiritual bucket. Thou spiritual container. In my hand. Be full with my blessing. Be full with my healing. Be full with my testimonies. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it. Declare, 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 declare it. If you love yourself, declare it very well. Declare it very well. If you love yourself, declare it. Be full, be full, be full. With our breakthrough, our testimonies. In the name of Jesus. Aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, I reject basket anointing. I reject basket anointing. Basket breakthroughs. Licking pocket anointing. Licking pocket breakthroughs. I reject them now. In the name of Jesus. I reject them now. In the name of Jesus. Say, I cover my testimonies with the blood of Jesus. I move forward. I cover my testimonies with the blood of Jesus. I move forward. I cover my breakthroughs with the blood of Jesus. I move forward. In Jesus' name we are blessed. Please clap for Jesus powerfully. I say clap for Jesus uniformly. A wonderful, powerful shouting hallelujah. The Lord is great. God bless you. Have your seat and good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Remember this month is our month of what? Answered prayers. It's already answered. I'm serious. It's already answered. If you hear the testimonies, I went to some place. They nearly fooled my car with food. They nearly fooled it. Hmm? All places I was going through was favor, 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 favor. It's a month of answered word, prayers. You don't understand. God wants to do extraordinary things to shock every one of us. You will walk out here, your testimony will embarrass you. That amen need to have a strong leg. I said the testimony you have never seen. The Lord has released upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Somebody is here asking for healing. In the next 10 minutes, you are healed. In the name of Jesus. You will no more see that sickness again. It's over in your blood, in your life. In the name of Jesus. Wonderful. We are having two in one message today. We'll continue next week. And our message is titled, Signs and gifts of the Holy Spirit. Signs and gifts of the Holy Spirit. We won't finish everything. We'll continue next week. I need you to listen attentively because this is a powerful message that will bless us. We need to know the signs and the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Talking about signs. If there's somebody say, what are your signs? The person is only say, what are your manifestations? How does the Holy Spirit manifest? 
Signs means what? Manifest. We apologize for the AC. We don't know what is going on here. We'll talk to the county. God oh, bless us. Are you following what I'm saying? Signs simply means what? Manifestation. If I say, what are your signs? I'm saying, how are you manifesting? Are you manifesting breakthrough? Or are you manifesting failure? So, signs cannot be covered. Do we agree? Signs cannot be hidden. If it is a supernatural sign, it can never be obsolete. It will continue to renew itself. Newer doses of increase and betterment. Because the finger of God is upon it. What are signs? What does sign mean? Signs. It means signal. So to understand the Holy Spirit, understand the word they use for him. Signs means what? Signal. When you are in a place where the presence of God is commanded, or a place, place where the presence of God is established, you will receive signal from heaven that the Holy Spirit is there. That's another word for sign. Signs means indication. It means mark. The marks of the Holy Spirit. Some people don't know they carry the Holy Spirit. But they don't know the marks. When you begin to know the marks of the Holy Spirit, you now know you carry the Holy Spirit. Signs means evidence. How do you know God is with you? Our mommy's testimony this hour. How do you know God is really answering your prayer? Other people's testimony in the, previously. Where you just do not have to do anything and heaven is doing it for you. It's an evidence that the mightiness of God is around you. The case of Joseph, a slave child, a boy, in Egypt becoming a prime minister. That is the signs that God is with him. Those are the evidences and the marks that God is with him. What are signs? It means demonstration. The demonstration of the Holy Ghost. When the Holy Ghost is invited in a, in a battle, where the enemy is trying to act as if they have the upper hand, and you begin to see the enemy bowing down, that's another indication that God is in that battle or the Holy Ghost. A good example, they brought... Dagon before the Ark of Covenant to show the supremacy of the presence of God. Bible says the stump of what Dagon broke in, into house and fell and pieces on the ground. So signs also means demonstration. It means testimony. Signs means testimony. When we say the signs of the Holy Ghost, we are talking about the testimonies of God in one's life. Gifts. What are the gifts of the Holy Spirit? Or what does gift mean? Gift simply means a not notable capacity. A notable word? Capacity. When they say you have gifts, the person is only saying you have you have occupied a notable capacity or you have of re or you have reached a not a notable capacity a level where nobody has reached you are distinguished out completely separated from the others what do we mean by gifts it means talents it means what talents Otherwise, you can say talents of the of a man or a woman. That's, those are gifts. It also means endowment. It means what? Endowment. Are we understanding that? Let's not be distracted. Let's have our mind there. Endowment is at the gifts of the Holy Spirit. When somebody says you are endowed, it's saying that you have some special gifts. Gifts means anointing. 
it means unction. They say you have anointing. You have unction. It means you have the gift of God. Or special talents. It means power. Gift means what? Power. Anything that makes your life easy is power that you have occupied or you have obtained from God. So the power of God in us can do extraordinary things. When you carry the power of the Most High God, easiness is the order of the day. Difficulty bows. So now we know the signs, the meaning, the meaning, the meaning of signs and gifts. Now, how do we relate the signs and gifts with the Holy Spirit as a personality? Remember, it's a personality that must be respected and honored, and it's a God. What are the signs to show that Holy Spirit is here? What are the gifts to show that your Holy Spirit is with you? Those are the things we are talking about now. In the Bible, there are nine gifts of the Holy Spirit. We're going to read it in the book of Corinthians. There are nine gifts of the what? Holy Spirit. Just like how we have the nine fruits of the Holy Spirit, we have also have the nine gifts of the Holy Spirit. Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 12. 1 Corinthians chapter 12. We are reading from 1 to 11. Say now, cons- are we there? Let me wait for somebody. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 from 1 to 11. Are we there now? Okay. Now, concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I do not want you to be ignorant. You know that you were Gentiles carried away to these dumb idols. However, you were led. Therefore, I make known to you that no one speaking by the Spirit of God calls Jesus a cost, and no one can say that Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are diversities of gifts. That's different kinds of gifts. But the same spirit, all controlled by just one spirit. Just like every one of us here, we come from different tribes, different countries. But we are united by heavenly citizens as children of, 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 this, uh, of Zion. And what unites us as citizens of heaven? The blood of Jesus, the name of Jesus. So, it doesn't, when once we come together as children of God, there is no Nigerian, no Togolese, no um, uh, Congo, uh, or whatever. We are just one in spirit. Six, and there are diversities of activities. So, you can have the gift of miracle, but your own gift is promoting kingdom investment. God has given you the gift of miracle to receive miraculous financial surplus. Another person can have the gift of miracle opening only the eyes of the blind. Another can have the gift of miracle. All he does with his gift of miracle, he will pray for people who are sick. They receive their healing instantly. So you see diversities of what? Activities. But it's run by one spirit. But it is the same God who works all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. For to one is given the word of wisdom through the Spirit. To another the word of knowledge through the same Spirit. To another faith by the same Spirit. To another gifts of healing by the same Spirit. To another the working of miracles. To another prophecy. To another the signing of spirits. To another different kinds of tongues. To another the interpretation of tongues. But one and the same spirit works all these things. Distributing to each one individually 
as he wills. For as the body is one, and as many members, but all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ. The Bible is so crystal clear in what we have just read. If you count each of these gifts there, there are nine of them. And they operate in different ministries, in diversities of activities. Manifestations are different. Their signs or marks are different. But are controlled by one spirit, the Holy Spirit. And God has given to us this gift for our own profit. For our own benefit. The gift or power of God in your life, in my life, is to profit you. Number one, to be able to serve God better. Because the gift comes with limitless strength, mercy, grace, power, and favor. It engineered you to do extraordinary things than an ordinary human being. Some places in the Bible, some apostles never walked physically. The Holy, the Holy Spirit transported them. It, that was profit. They are supposed to spend their money for maybe to, to ride the caravan, pay somebody or do some certain things, but you can see when the Holy Spirit is full in you, it, it profits your life. You pray for people, they are blessed, they will bless you. Whether they like it or not, they will bless you. Because where they are spending the money before, God now put an end to their wastage. They will turn back and give you that money. Hello, somebody, am I saying the truth? That is just the truth. So the gift of God is to make our life better. To serve God. You go for evangelism because the Holy Ghost is fooling you. And you are preaching, preaching. Somebody comes in and is saying, well, I'm sick. And you lay hand on the person and the person is saying, stand healing. He will look for your God. That is the level we are all going into now. I pray for somebody. There shall be mighty encounter of the Holy Ghost upon you. In the name of Jesus. So, there are nine gifts of the Holy Spirit. And there are three categories of the, of the nine gifts. So, I'm taking them three by three. I'm taking the first three. There are three categories of the nine gifts. The first three, I will treat today. The next three, I will treat another time. And the last three, I will treat so that you understand these signs and these gifts in your life as a, as a child of God. It's in you. Some people may not have all, but you have some. And I will tell you how to understand this gift. How to grow and develop this gift. If God gives you a spiritual gift, you don't develop it. That is when roaches will be coming to attack you. You'll be crying. The, the, those who are feeding in the night will feed you. You'll be bittered. Gifts are meant to be developed. You don't sit on it. Some of you, are, you have the gift of healing. You never want the entire hospital to pray for any sick person. So you know you have the gift, but you sit on it. Some of you, you have the gift of what? Uh, some supernatural utterances. When you speak in prayers or you speak in tongues, the kingdom of darkness are shaking. Instantly you receive result. But you don't join intercessory group to manifest that gift. Any gift you don't use will become what? Obsolete. Somehow it will become what? Non-functional in that life. I pray God will have mercy upon us if we have not been using his gift in the name of Jesus. Amen. So the first three categories of the nine gifts are the revelational gifts. What did I call it? Revelational gifts to the vocal gift or inspirational gift. The vocal gift or inspirational gift. 
And three, the power gift. What is the first one? What's the second one? Vocational or what? Vocational gift or inspirational gift. What's the third one? The power gift. So, under revelational gift, we have three there. Under revelational gift, we have what? Three there. Now, I want you to look at this three now, whether you have it. I will explain them. The first gift under revelational gift is word of knowledge. The second gift under revelational gift is word of wisdom. And the third gift under revelational gift is the signing of spirit or spirit of designing or designment or designing of spirit. Why are they called revelational gifts? Why are they called <coughs> revelational gifts? Those three gifts. We'll talk about that. Let's go to vocal gifts or inspirational gifts. You are going to put your hand on your head and pray like this. Say, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Enter into every dry area of my life. And refresh me. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost. Enter into every dry area of my life. And refresh me. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it. Holy Ghost, enter into every dry area of my life and refresh it in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we receive it. Let's go to the vocal gift or inspirational gift. Under it are three also. The first one is called, vocal has to do with speaking. Speaking. All trance is communication. The first one is called what? Diverse tongues. You see somebody speaking in the language of heaven in tongues. But the all trances are diverse. Can be speaking uh, Italian today. Tomorrow you are speaking Mongolia. Another day you are speaking Indian. It all depends on what the utterance, the Holy Spirit has given you the enablement to speak out. Diverse gift is a weapon that confuses darkness and the kingdom of darkness. They don't know you by Mongolia alone. Maybe they are attacking you, attacking you, are speaking Mongolia. The next thing, the Holy Spirit takes you and transports you to another level. And you are speaking Italian. You throw the enemy into disarray. Diver gates destroy the camp of the enemy. They don't understand because it comes with different weapons of all trances. So diver gate is a vocal gift. Under vocal gift is another one called interpretation of tongues. Somebody is, is, have the gift of tongues or diverse tongues and at the same time, the same person has the gift of the interpretation of tongues or another person has it. Say I'm speaking in tongues now. Somebody who has the gift now and there is word of knowledge and revelated rhema from that word that is coming out from my mouth. Somebody who has the gift of the interpretation of tongues, God has given them understanding of the meaning of the tongues. They will begin to say, brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters, that man of God is saying, it shall be well with the church. Those who are sick, you are receiving your healing in two days. As the person is speaking, the other one is interpreting. As the person, there is no confusion. If you don't have the gift, don't go and do it too. You can receive a slap. It's only those who have the gift that can interpret. You just don't stand up and say anything that enters your head. You don't feel it too. It's something that is supernatural. So it is a vocal gift. On that good vocal gift, the third one again is called what? Prophecy. Not the one they are doing these days. So. Do you know me from anywhere? The last two account number is 52. 
And the person say, mm, it's 51. I say, okay, I almost, I miss it. Do you know me from anywhere? Your uncle, your auntie's name is called Fatima. He said, Professor. That's not the type I'm talking about. Holy Ghost is not the talkative. And their word are for the essential things. I'm talking about prophecy from God. That prophecy is a gift for those who have it. I can be here most of the times on the altar. All the, most of the prayer points, 90% of prayer points, you see me calling here. I receive word directly by intuition. The Lord can speak to you into your heart. You can speak to you on your sound is falling on your ears. The Lord can communicate with you with your eye. The Lord can communicate with your brain. Sometimes you don't want to talk. The Lord will force your mouth to open. And you'll speak out word of revelations. That is how diver gifts are communicated through the power of the Holy Ghost. So when those words start coming out, it comes out as prophecy. Now you are prophesying. Telling somebody of what happened in the past with a solution. Whatever God empowers you as a gift to have and to speak or to help is to make somebody's life better. God will always reveal to redeem. You will not be in one the stage after the same spot when a revelation is given to you unless you are not the one that is actual, the, unless you are the one responsible for, for the non-performance of that prophecy. Somebody has revealed something to you and you go back to sin. The prophecy will not come to pass. It can be delayed. It can even be taken away from you to another. When a prophecy is given, you walk with the mind, a close relationship with God so that that prophecy can come to pass. Many receive they go back to the world and they think the prophecy will come to pass. Some prophecy will never happen unless you involve fasting and prayer. God will reveal something and a man or woman of God will prophesy into your life. But because of the powers responsible to holding your prophetic, or I mean your prophetic gift or your blessings, your prophetic blessings, this kind, this kind cannot go unless through fasting and what? Prayer. Some people carry a prophecy of 20 years going around and they refuse to pray. They are looking for people to pray for them and the prophecy remains like that. It's not manifesting. So those are the three under vocal gifts. Talking about power gift, the third one. Power gift. So you can see these are the nine of them. What are power gifts? Number one is Healing. The gift of what? Healing. What did I say? The gift of healing. You can't be a deliverance pastor or minister without the gift of healing. There are some deliverance pastors or ministers without the gift of healing. Are, are we understanding that? They have to pray to have the gift of healing because you will not function well. You can cast out demons but you cannot heal the situation where you have cast out. There's going to be a problem. So you quickly have to pray for that gift. So gift of healing is a power gift. It does extraordinary things. Bringing dead situation to life. That's why they call it power. It can cause an, a complete area that is desertic to afforestation. That's why they call it power. You can enter a place like Moses and stretch the road. Sea becomes dry land. That's what they call power. You enter the camp of your enemy where they've already concluded your case and you say one, two, three, four, five. You are dead and they died. That's what they call power. That's, what they call, that's why they call it power gift. It's not a respecter of any witch or wizard. It's not a respecter of any man. When you have the gift, you are on top only. Never beneath. You will operate above and subdue your enemy. That is the gift all of us we need. Power gift is healing gift. Power gift is the gift 
of miracle or working of miracles. What did I say power gives again is the gift of miracle or working of what? Miracles. And the third power gift is called the gift of faith. What is the gift of faith? Somebody comes in now and everybody is crying. Oh, they are taking the sister to imprisonment and they will imprison her for nine years. And you said, no. She's, she's, she's only going to be there for two days. Say, what are you talking about? The judge has seen this. Say, no, 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 no. This sister, she's, go, she's coming out after under two days. And people are wondering, why are you talking like this with boldness? Uh huh. You have a gift called what? Faith. That's by the grace of God, that's one of my gifts. I'm a man of faith. I don't believe anything cannot be possible. I believe everything is possible. Anything you think, you can get it. Anything you put your mind to do, you can achieve it. There is no power, no whatever covenant or cause is spoken against you. Those things cannot work. If you believe it will not work, it will not work. That's the gift of what? Faith. Now you add all these nine together and you operate with it. The kingdom of darkness will fear you. So let's talk about each and every one of them now. Starting with the revelational gifts. Before that, all nine gifts are supernatural and are distributed to each believer as the Holy Spirit desires. Not as you desire, not as I desire. What did I say? All nine gifts are what? Supernatural. They are not natural. Though. They are supernatural. Above natural. And are distributed to each believer. There is going to be a, there is a mark there. You must be a believer. For the supernatural gift to be, to be given to you. As the Holy Spirit what? Desires. Listen again. You can increase Holy Ghost desire on you by working hard, by working more, by loving God with all your heart, all your might, and all your soul. Bible says, to whom much is given, much is what? Expected. If heaven is expecting much from you, it means that God will increase your graces. When your graces increase, the Holy Spirit desire for your gift will increase. You are different from somebody. Somebody who, who comes to church only one time in a, in a month. And you who is always being there every day trying to help out and all that. Let me tell you, Holy Spirit will desire more. The enablement of the gift of God on your life will increase. You are not like the other person. As you open your heart to God, that is how God will open his heart also to you. So sometimes you say, eh, I don't know why I'm not functioning in the gift of that man or that woman. Tap into the heart of God like David. You will see how the Holy Spirit will desire extraordinary thing for you. We do not control which gift or gifts we receive. You cannot come and say, I want this gift, I don't want that gift. Because it's not in your hand, it's in the hand of the Holy Ghost. You only ask. God will not give you what your foundation cannot carry. God cannot give me what I'm not prepared to handle. You say, God, give me the gift of power, give me the power of power, and you are managing with anger. You have raw, hot, acidic anger. The one that if you receive power, you can kill anybody. Heaven will hold it away from you until you go through Bible study of what? Anger correction. Till your anger melts and you are prepared and humble yourself, then God will release that gift to you. Because power in the hand of an angry man is trouble for that country, trouble for his family. So we do not control which gifts or gifts we receive. We are simply to discover and develop the gifts that the Holy Spirit has given to us. Remember, God entrusted this gift to us. Not because we qualify for it, but out of his sheer mercy, through his son's blood, he gave it to us. 
Remember when Jesus departed, he said the Holy Ghost shall come upon thee. He, and he wants us to test for it, to hunger for it, and we receive the gift. God is entrusting his presence in us to follow his directive, his commands, to be able to carry out that which he wants us to carry out. So when God has entrusted the nine gift upon you, beloved, you will not be able to control it. The Holy Spirit will control it for you. You can't be above the owner. Do you agree? That's why I said we, we, we do not control it. The Holy Spirit who comes in us and presents himself as a gift in us controls the gift in us. All we, are, we must be doing is a yielding heart of here I am. I submit myself. Holy Spirit says go, you go. Holy Spirit says stay here, you stay here. That's how it goes. So talking about Revelational gifts. We mention word of knowledge, word of wisdom, and the signing of spirits. Now, revelational gifts in a nutshell is simply the three gifts revealed information. Is simply the supernatural gift of the Holy Ghost to help reveal information supernaturally from God to the life of a believer. All revelational gifts are for supernatural revelation of information to the life of believer. So whether it is word of knowledge is just you are only having that gift to receive information. Not by natural means. Not what you know or others told you, but what you receive from the mind of God. That makes it, that's why we call it the word of what? Knowledge. I will explain further. The same thing with the word of wisdom. It is for we, it is a supernatural gift the Holy Ghost gave us to reveal information of the mind of God to us. The same thing with the gift of the spirit of designing. Word of knowledge, word of wisdom, designing of spirit, these three revelational gifts They have no outward manifestation of the revelation. If you look at those who are carrying this gift, you don't see any outward manifestation. The gift is imbued in the person. When God is speaking to me now, you will not see me be rolling on the ground. and doing, No, I will receive it without you not knowing. So there is no outward manifestation. The knowledge and information are conveyed inwardly. He won't throw you on the ground. You will receive in the heart. You receive it in your ear. You only you alone know God has spoken to you on a matter. You receive it inwardly, quietly, and personally to the holder of the gift. You are, you are the holder of the gift. God has entrusted the gift on you. So you receive it inwardly, quietly, and what? Personally. It's for only you. After God has spoken to you about somebody, what do you do? Like I said, I wanted to stretch my arms on somebody. And I withdraw. Reason because I know the person will come back again and start troubling me. Say, hey, tell me more. I just want the person to take God seriously and pray. It has already been revealed. So if that person now, when I say generally, pray, oh, pray, oh, and the person is just doing like, doing like this, it meaning that he's going to wait again. So you may not know whether you are the one. So the answer to any revelation manifestation is obedience. When you are in the presence of God, whatever the man or woman of God asks you to do, please do it. 
take it very seriously. Not until it is being revealed to you before you take God seriously. God wants to see you at the, even at the state where nothing is known to you, whether you will still take him seriously. May God have mercy on us in the name of Jesus. So what is word of knowledge? Word of knowledge is the revelation through the power of the Holy Spirit about the past and present of a thing. I repeat again. Word of knowledge is the revelation through the power of the Holy Spirit about the past, the present of a thing, a person, a place or environment, or a situation. God gave me supernatural information through my ears, my heart, my brain, my eye about somebody, about a place where the person comes from, about a thing, the person, something somebody is going through. That's to tell you, if the person is able to tell you those things, and you say, wow, how did you know it is true? He's telling you something about your past or your present. That person has the gift of the word of what? Knowledge. Why knowledge? Understanding. Being able to understand mysteries is knowledge. When you put that knowledge into function, it becomes what? Power. They say knowledge is power. It's not always true. But apply knowledge is power. Person is able to reveal something to you and you are able to translate that into you to your own deliverance by praying, following the spiritual instruction. Every revelation of prophecy from God has an instruction with it that must be obeyed and followed to the letter to get results. Anytime you are going to break or trying to meander on the instruction, quickly let the person who ask you to do it, know about it. If somebody says every 17th of the month, speak to the son, release my womb, release my babies, release my marriage. Says every 17th of the month, the person is not there. It's between you and God. And now you only did one out of nine months. They say you should do it. Then you come back and you say what? Uh, you, I know you spoke to me, but the thing did not work. You did not follow the instruction. That's why many people are not receiving anything from God. Moses followed to the letter the instruction of God. The Lord says, stretch the rod to the sea. If he refused stretching the rod, the Egyptians would have killed them. God says, speak to the rod. Don't strike the rock. Moses, out of anger, struck the rock. The water gorged out. And God was angry. That was the reason why God, and one, another thing again, Moses was trying to compare, was, was putting himself as a position. He said, must we have to feed them? God, he, was, he put himself with God together against the children of Israel. So those two things was the reason why God did not take him to the land of milk and uh, honey. God made sure he slept, he slept peacefully and buried him. So those with the word of knowledge have the supernatural ability to tell you your past, your present, to tell you what is happening in a situation. There is also the word of wisdom. What does it mean? This one walked through the power of the Holy Spirit about the future of a person. A place, a thing, or a situation or circumstances. If somebody is telling you something that has not yet happened to you, the person is operating in the, with the gift of what? Wisdom. The gift of wisdom is not the natural wisdom. It's the supernatural Wisdom of God. God will put in the heart of the person or open a part of the person's five senses to be able to speak out and confirm some things that might take place in the future. 
like last year, there were revelations, a word of wisdom, word of knowledge from this altar concerning America, so many things. There was one I said specifically, I said, some things will happen in America, you will think you are in Africa. <laughs> if not prayer, it would have been worse than that. There are so many things, so many revelations like that. You, the receiver, must take it very seriously. You, the hearer, that our prophecy, many are sleeping on it like a beautiful pillow. If you know how to use that thing to pray, <laughs> before three months to the uh, uh, before the first three months of the year, your life will be better. Everything we need for a betterment is already there. Those Isaiah forty one ten, all those things they put there. Anywhere you go, shed the blood of Jesus. All those things. There is a reason for those things. For countries in Africa, anywhere you are, shed the just shed the blood of Jesus. In America, shed the blood of Jesus. There are reasons for all those things. So what does this word of wisdom do? It's supernatural revelation of the mind and purpose of God. Word of wisdom is a supernatural gift led by the Holy Spirit or conducted by the Holy Spirit over a person to receive supernatural revelation of the mind of God and the purpose of God concerning a person a thing, a place, a situation. Say, for example, now you come to me for counseling. And after you finish talking, and I say, okay, take these two prayer points and pray. 90% at the time, many of you always think it's prayer point. <laughs> because I don't tell you it's revelation. You just take it, casually go home, and you don't pray it. And you come back, you say, oh, there's no bread to there's no bread to I say, okay, don't worry yourself. I will give you, as we are talking, the word will come again, I will give you another one. You still will not take it seriously. Because you want to hear the one that will say, eh, Ngozi, I see you like this, I see you. Say, hey, that's the one you want. When I'm not a lying pastor. May God deliver us in Jesus' name. Those with the word of knowledge, God opened up his mind to them. God open up his purpose to them and tell them what will happen in the future. If I ask you now, who will be the next president of America? Some of you may not know. Some of you know. How many of you know the, who will be the next president of America? You don't know. We need to know we are children of God. Bible says the heavens, even the heavens belongs to God. The earth he has given to the children of men. He has given us everything here for us to know. Let me ask you now, what will happen to you October 10th? Let me ask you, what will happen October 10th? How will your first week of December be? You don't know. These are the things you will need to know. What are the powers you are going to confront at the end of September? That is why I said, you see those books, the one we're about to pray, it is only one spot like this I sat down. The Holy Spirit was speaking to me. And everything as he's speaking, I'm typing. Typing like that for five days. I didn't move anywhere. If you see me, you think I'm Moses. I didn't move anywhere. If I get tired, I will go on my knees. I will be typing. I will stand up. That's the reason why I cannot send it to any of you. Because it's, not, it's more su su spiritual than, I, than how you... I know all of you call me to say, send it to say, I say, ah, they don't understand. If you go change one thing there, the Holy Spirit say, put there, I will be in trouble in the hand of God. I'm not writing no volume. So I will take something I want to put it. say, put it there. Say, ah, they don't know what they, they, they call cool or not. Put it there, Holy Spirit say, put it there. It's not meant for somebody here. It's meant for somebody who will buy that book somewhere in Africa. 
and knock off that coconut spirit out of his life. Are we understanding that? Some language is here. I want to put it the way modernized Holy Spirit said, put the prayer the way we kill the witch. If you, as a linguist or somebody who is editing, you see it, you say, oh, no, this one is wrong. But that's not the language the Holy Spirit wants there. Do you understand that now? May God deliver us in Jesus' name. We will stop here. Rise up now. Talk to God. Say, Lord Jesus, have mercy upon me for taking you for granted. Forgive me of my sins and wash me with your blood. Release upon me the nine gifts of the Holy Spirit. Baptize my life with the gift of revelation, with the word of knowledge, with the word of wisdom, with the word, I mean, with the spirit of designing. Baptize my life with your vocal and inspirational gifts. The gift of healing. The gift of diverse tongues and interpretation of tongues. Dive, uh, baptize my life. Baptize my life, O oh Lord. With your vocal gifts. Baptize my life, O oh Lord. Baptize my life, O oh Lord. With all the nine gifts of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Baptize my life, O oh Lord. With power gifts. With the gift of healing. With the gift of workings of miracles. With the gift of prophecy. In the name of Jesus. I receive the gifts. Direct the gifts in my life, Lord. Promote me with these gifts. As from today. Anywhere I go. Let me stand out. Let me stand out. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we receive it. A victory, man. Amen. At the end, this message is very broad. At the end of it, we are going to do impartation. Powerfully. All the gifts you have been praying for, you will receive in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lift up your offering now. Our Father, we want to say thank you for blessing us today. You have released your gift upon our lives. I believe it strongly by faith that you have given us the gift. In appreciation for what you have done, Father, bless this offering, bless us. We cover this offering with the blood of Jesus. Accept it, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Aha. Hallelujah. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are worthy, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. You are worthy, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. You are received the JPT uh, Business Prosperity Conference T-shirts. I know those who have not got uh, will get your own for you. And if your own is tight, you go and start fasting, you will reduce. So it will fit you. It's not me to ask you to go chop chop. 
I gave you that purposefully because of the way I know who you used to be before. You went and blew. So go and reduce it and this load will fit you in Jesus' name. Thank God we are going into 120 days fasting and prayer. So that will help us. Now, help us go to our social media and distribute the things we post there. The next deliverance is going to be super powerful. It's an extraordinary deliverance. Dead situation in your life. My life must come alive. It's called what? What's the title? I breathe again. It's not an ordinary deliverance. It's a deliverance of resurrection and power of the Holy Ghost. Whatever is your situation, anything dead, prayer life dead, marriage dead, anything dead is coming alive by the power of God in the name of Jesus. We are going to do it in a special place. So, I've gone to say the center, very powerful place, very powerful. Make sure you invite family and friends, it's going to be very explosive. After the deliverance, there will be time for counseling and serious prayer. So prepare yourself, and everybody must be on fasting for that August deliverance. August 28th, it's a Sunday. So we are not coming here, we are going to that place for that deliverance. Is that clear? God will bless us as we keep to in Jesus' name. Hopefully, by the grace of God, our book is coming out soon. Let's clap for Jesus for that. I want 20 days fasting and prayer. Very powerful. Those, that prayer is loaded. I kept saying it. There's a lot of revelation on it. Every day, God, somehow God is speaking to me about it. That is going to do a lot to humanity worldwide. Whoever ca- catch that book, <laughs> I know it's, not, it's, going to be, it's going to be sold out. Whoever handles that book and pray, <laughs> you say you've been praying for foundation. That one is the last bus stop. When you pray those prayers, there are over 1,200 prayers there. So, when you pray those prayers, your life will be free by the power of God in the name of Jesus. Make sure you get your copy before it finishes. Is that clear? Quickly. And if you want to buy for somebody, quickly order for it. We'll have copies here. We'll have, it in, we'll have them in all Christian bookshops and it will be in Amazon. So, please prepare yourself. Everybody must take part in that Fasting, enough is enough. COVID, feeding, eating is over. We need to go back to spirituality now. Everybody must start fasting now. You break every 1 p.m. for 120 days. Pray your 10 prayer points each day. Immediately you open the prayer like this. You will think, this thing I'm saying, you will think it's a joke. When you open the first first prayer, 10 prayer, and you start praying, you will see extraordinary supernatural things happening in your life. I know what I'm talking about because of who revealed them to me. They are not ordinary prayer. What cannot explain what is in that book? That book is not an ordinary book. Anything troubling you from family roots, ancestral roots, is getting out. The Lord wants to set foundation free. All revelation God is revealing things to me are all about foundation. Foundations, foundations, foundations. So it touches every area and the ones you don't know. Just handle the book and pray. Buy a copy for your friend, your boss. Anybody, just give them. Just say pray. Pray with it. You will see the mightiness of God. And God will take the glory in the name of Jesus. Many dead situations are coming back alive. In Jesus' name. Let us rise up. Those of our brothers who are not here, for we share our Father's Day's gift. You have your next week. We didn't come with them. If you're here, you didn't have a gift you didn't, for the JPT's conference, you didn't have any gift. Let us know so that we can give you the magazine, everything. We still have plenty and all that. And you want to bless somebody, your boss, your friend, let us know how many copies you need. Don't waste it too. People you know, when you give them, they will want to come and fellowship and pray your prayer and be set free. So we want to use it as a tool of evangelism. We'll give you, let us know how many you need so that we'll give you. And you go bless somebody with it, with a copy of the book also. May God bless us in Jesus' name. Rise up now. Say, I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I soak members of my family with the blood of Jesus. No evil weapon fashioned against us shall ever prosper in the name of Jesus. I run into the name of the Lord, which is a strong tower, and I'm secured. No accident, no disaster shall come my way and members of my family. All evil loads, I return there back to the head of these owners 
in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are secure. Let's share the grace in fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy of God shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Yes, children, give please. Our uh, children, please take your gifts. God bless us. That's those for our back to school. Is that okay? Children, deliverance August 10th. John online, 4 p.m. Don't miss it, please. Let parents please bring their children. Let's give God one victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you for coming. Have a wonderful afternoon. <laughs>